Hello everyone, welcome to Open Education channel and in this video we are going to see how we can create a very simple real-time chat application using ASP.NET Core Signal R. Of course, it will not be a production grade application. It is just to show you that how easy it is to create a real-time chat application using Signal R. And then using those concepts, you can apply those in your own projects. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel if you are not and hit on the like button if you don't like this video click on the dislike button so that i can get your feedback and uh, i can further improve the videos and the contents on this channel if you have any suggestion or any questions post that in the comment section so signal r is just a one part of uh, sp.net ecosystem and uh, you can get you know different documentation of ASP.NET related framework or its different components on the docs.microsoft.com so like here we have this real-time web app with SignalR so you this is the documentation for the SignalR and if you will click on this link you will get this page where they have shown that how you can create a very basic SignalR application and this is also a chat application and I am also going to show you the same application. I have just made some uh, changes on the UI side, but the main core concept is the same that how you will communicate with the SignalR. So let's start. I am using Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. If you don't have Visual Studio 2019 on your system installed, you can use any text editor you want. I will suggest Visual Studio Code. But in that case, you will need .NET Core installed on your system. And of course, to create a new project, you will need to run the .NET commands to create a project. So I will first create a project. So go to the file menu, click on new project. And here I will select ASP.NET Core Web Application. Click on next. And here I will give this aim chat demo. Okay it on create and then it will ask that what project template you want to use so here i am using asp.net core web app and this will create a razor page application okay and uh, it doesn't matter that you select this web app or model view controller okay or web api it doesn't matter you can select anyone and uh, because you will create a separate class in that okay so i am just selecting asp.net core web app and we are using ASP.NET Core 5.0. This is the latest version. They are now calling it only ASP.NET 5. Okay, click on create. So here is that project. Okay, so this is a simple Razor Pages application. And now, you know, in the earlier days when like, you know, 2016 uh, version 4.5, you had to include the signal R from the nougat package but now in the dotnet code they have just included that in the main package but yeah we will need client side signal r libraries so that our browser can send message requests to our server and they can communicate with each other so we will be adding those client side scripts shortly so but let me first create a hub on our server so for that i will go to my project click on right click on that and uh, then actually i will add first a folder you know you can just add a class directly but i will suggest just use a folder and i will name it hubs okay and then here i will add a new class so this will be the, this will be the class and class name will be chat hub hit enter and this class must be inherited from the hub which is type provided by singular so i hit control dot so that i can use the appropriate namespace which is microsoft sp.net core dot signalr here and uh, now we need to just define a method which we will be calling from our client okay so that that method name could be anything okay so i will just create public and then that will be asynchronous so public async and it will not return anything so that will be task return type will be the task and i will name this message um, send a message okay let me name this send message because why not 
and uh, the send message will accept two parameters first will be the username and second will be the message and you can give any amount of parameter there is no restriction okay and uh, why i am using these two parameters is that when i will send some message from my client i will include that what is the username and what message he is sending that's why i have taken two parameters username and message and uh, the body will be clients and this client is from our hub class from the signaler and we will use all all means everyone who is connected to this particular hub will be notified about this message so when a particular person will call this message the message will be delivered to every person who is connected to that hub okay so clients dot all dot then here is the send send async method and uh, in earlier time that it was dynamic so you have to type your own method name but now they have changed it to that first parameter is the event name or method name which will be on your client side okay so i will name it receive message and again you can name it anything that should match with your client side js files method name okay and then i will pass the username and the message this thing and here we are getting this green line because yeah of course it's a sync method and we need to await this save it so our hub logic is complete now in asp.net core you know we need to notify our startup class that what services we are going to use so that's why we need to register signal r in our configure service method okay so i will write services dot add signal r okay and actually signal r requires a dedicated endpoint okay so that your client side uh, javascript could send message to a specific endpoint and you know they can connect with your specific endpoint so here i will do endpoints dot map hub okay and now you're you're saying that uh, it requires a type so the type will be chat hub the hub which we have just defined so control dot import that namespace and then yeah as a parameter it accepts a string pattern is what will be the endpoint name so i will just name it like chat hub okay and that's done this is this was the only two changes you have to create a hub class like here define your method and this is just a one timer thing that you have to uh, map your hub sorry register your hub in your service and in your configuration here now we will add our client side signal our libraries so for that i will go ahead here signal chat demo right click on that and click client side library it will open a dialog box like this so here you can select you know different providers cd and js js deliver you know i will select unpackage and the library which we will be using is adred microsoft slash signal r adred latest okay so this latest is to get the latest version and we will choose only the specific files okay because here it has its all source code and we don't want that we are using only on our, on our browser so i will use only the signal r you know this only one file is you know enough for your development time you know you can also include the signal r dot min dot js so that you know in the production time you will use this one minified file and uh, you can you know keep it like this target location leave microsoft signal r but i will just go ahead and change it to js okay so that our uh, js file will be in the js folder in www root okay and i will click on install 
so it will just download it and store it in your www root js folder like this here it is okay now i'll come to our index.cshtml file and here we will just uh, write ui where we will first ask the user for their name they will input their name they will click on join and then they will be in the chat room okay so i will not go ahead and write those html and javascript code line by line i have actually already uh, created that application so i will just go ahead and paste that snippet here to save some time so i will come here and paste it so this is it and we don't need this model because we are not using anything from the uh, code behind file so let me give you a walkthrough of this code so we have this main container okay this container has this one uh, div container which is user info and this is the first part that when user uh, opens our application we ask them to input their username they will put their username in this input field and then they will click on this button which will call this javascript function which is set username which is here and what it does that it just check if that username is empty or not if it's empty it will say okay please enter any name otherwise it will just uh, assign that input to a variable here username and then it hides that container and it displays the chat room okay and here we are just setting that username so that you no know, by what name you have just joined in your uh, chat room so this is the username one because because i was confused at what name to use so and there was not any name popping up in my mind so i just put it like username one so not a very good practice to name your you know html container name like username one but yeah i have just put it and here it is your username one you can change it later and this is the area where your uh, new message will be appended in unordered list this is the message list and this is another input which is used for writing message so you that means the user will write their message in this uh, input box and then there is the send button to you know send your message and then here this is the script which we have uh, added this is the signal.js and here we have our uh, code actually i have put this code right here in the same cshtml file but it's advised that you use you know it's best practice to always use a separate js file so what do you need that just copy this uh, all js file uh, sorry js logic and create a file in your js folder like say chat.js put that here there and just add that file here and delete this okay but i am going to just keep this right now here and let me give you the uh, explanation of this code this javascript code so first here we are creating a new connection with our chat hub so uh, the signal r is uh, the signal r object is provided by this signal.js file and it has this method hub connection builder and this has this uh, extension method like with url and this is the chat hub which is here this url which we have registered to map with our chat hub right so that's what we are connecting to and then build and uh, this thing is that at the first time your send button will be disabled and then uh, here is the message uh, receive message part i will uh, tell you shortly what it does and here is the connection dot start so as soon as your page will open the signal our connection is built it will try to connect with your server so if uh, that connection is successfully started then what we are doing that we are enabling that send button which we are disabling here okay and uh, this is the method connection dot on so it is that whenever there is any receive message event okay then this function will be executed okay and how this receive message event will be triggered because we have this chat hub method here we had defined this send message and this send message 
actually triggers this receive message. So this is the event receive message that should exactly match with you know any event which you are targeting to. Okay, this receive message, and uh, uh, it passes you know username and message. So here we have username and message as a parameter for your uh, callback function. And what we are doing here is that we are just uh, uh, making a string that okay username which is coming from first parameter says the message which is the second parameter and we are appending this in our unordered list okay and how we are sending this message is here okay so as soon as you type your message and click on send button this method is called so document get element by id send button and on click we are executing this function and what this function does that it takes the message and then it does connection that invoke means it's calling a specific message from on your connection and that is the send message and this name should exactly match with your method name here send message right and then you are passing username and message because these two parameters are required here username and message and if that is successful what we are doing that we are clearing the input box text because once you have sent the data definitely you will not want it there because you have to then manually delete it okay so this is our whole code so let me save that and let me run it So here is our page. Okay, so it's asking, please input your username, and I will, you know, just name it like Sid, and I will hit join. And here it's saying that you have joined as Sid, and you can write your message here. I will say hi, and it will send it. And you see, after sending, it's clearing this message from the text box, and it is appending in your unordered list right now here. And to test it, let me uh, open this same URL in any other browser I will just use incognito mode so control shift n and here is our another browser and here I will join it as xyz okay let me join that and here I will say hi send a message so it's showing that xyz says hi because it was not connected earlier but the client was earlier connected just the previous screen this one you see here it says xyz hi and you here you can write how are you okay send message so it says how are you and you should be able to see the same exact message here okay so this is the very basic very very basic chat app using esp.net core signaler and uh, with very minimum ui and uh, you know you can uh, integrate database with your application you know you can design your database and uh, you can you know create a full-fledged chat application using signal r and also you can use signal r in many other ways for example i use signal r in 2017 to create a, a real-time vehicle tracking application so we were using signal r to show the vehicles on the google map so we are getting the data from the GPS device via UDP or TCP protocol. There was a listener and that listener was sending the data back to our MVC application, which was written in ASP.NET Core 1.1. And we were showing the vehicle on the maps. That was one of the example how you can use Signaler. If you have any question, do let me know in the comment section if you like this video. Hit on like button and subscribe to this channel and uh, I will meet you soon with any other tutorial. Thank you.